So, it's not the first time he's been involved. Thank you, Sheriff. I'm glad you told me. That's very enlightening. We'll keep you posted, Mr. Luther. Hi, Thank Morgan. you. Lionel, what's going on? I, I thought the police were done with their investigation. Oh, the Sheriff's not ready to call it an accident. Apparently, Joseph Willowbrook, the Native American who's spearheading the protests, has a history of civil disobedience. They think it was sabotage? Uh, let's just say they're not ruling it out. Oh, maybe I should have done this project in Granville. Smallville needs those jobs. <sighs> um, I sent flowers to the, to the foreman's family, and I arranged for you to uh, do a condolence call tomorrow afternoon. Good thinking. I don't want to uh, be perceived as uncaring. I didn't do it for that reason. I did it because it's the right thing to do. You know, there are times when I'm with you that I'd swear I was talking to my wife. She was a lot like you, Martha. The same unflinching honesty. I miss that. Hope I'm not interrupting. Hi, Lex. Lex. Always good to hear your voice, son. Well, I, I, I need to get home early today, so I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Believe me, Lex, I know how hard you've been working. You engineered an employee buyout of the Smallville plant. Now, look at you. You're building a, an empire of your own without my help. But your success shouldn't prevent us from joining forces when a lucrative venture comes along. Come on, Dad. You don't need me as an investor in some random office park. No, not as an investor, Lex. I want you as my partner. Blame it on a brief bout of sentimentality. Sentimentality is synonymous with vulnerability. You taught me that. You're on your own. 